Holly Willoughby cut a somber figure as she enjoyed a stroll on Friday, October 7, amid reports of tension between her and Philip Schofield. The This Morning presenter, 41, didn't appear to be her usual smiley self as she donned gym wear for a walk around a picturesque park in London, following a tough few weeks for the mum of three amid the ongoing backlash thanks to the star's trip to see Queen Elizabeth II lying in state last month. Holly and Phil have have been trolled mercilessly since footage showed the two stars being taken through to Westminster Hall to film a segment for the ITV show and seemingly skipping the lengthy queue, as thousands waited for hours in the queue outside, something this morning strongly denies, arguing the on-screen talent were for journalism purposes. As Q Gay trumbles on, it's now been alleged things are tense between co-stars and pals Holly and Fiel, with the atmosphere on the This Morning set reportedly very awkward, as the two presenters attempt to move on from the saga that angered the nation and prompted a petition calling for their resignations gaining over 75,000 signatures. Spotted on her morning stroll on Friday, Holly shielded her eyes with dark sunglasses as she looked in deep thought as she walked around in black leggings, a matching fleece, pink Nike trainers and a waterproof jacket to keep her dry amid any showers. The dancing on ice presenter kept her head down and her headphones in as she made her way around the park, sitting down on a bench at one point and looking downcast and somber. It's been a rocky few weeks for Holly, as she and Phil are trolled mercilessly and accused of queue jumping since the footage showed them being taken through to Westminster Hall to film a segment for the ITV show, as thousands waited for hours in the queue outside. Despite this morning quickly issuing a statement clarifying that the two stars did not jump the queue, have VIP access or file past the Queen lying in state and were there purely for work reasons, that hasn't stopped many on social media to continue to joke about about the situation and call for the presenters to step down from the ITV show. The whole saga has had an impact on Holly and Phil's workplace, with a source recently OK that the atmosphere in the This Morning studio was awful and the Q-Gate drama has made their relationship extremely awkward. You could cut the tension in the room with a knife, the insider said. The fact that the audience are now noticing it too indicates that big cracks are starting to show. The Mirror has previously reached out to This Morning and Holly and Phil's reps for comment. Following the false accusations, Philip, whose five-year we buy any car deal ended recently, and Holly denied jumping the queue this morning in September, as Holly told viewers, like hundreds of accredited broadcasters and journalists we were given official permission to access the hall. It was strictly for the purpose of reporting on the event for millions of people in the UK who haven't been able to visit Westminster in person. The rules were that we would be quickly escorted around the edges to a platform at the back. In contrast those paying respects walked along a carpeted area beside the coffin and were given time to pause. None of the broadcasters and journalists took anyone's places in the queue and no one filed past the Queen. We of course respected those rules however we realize that it may have looked like something else and therefore we totally understand the reaction. Please know that we would never jump a queue. While Phil's time with We Buy Any Car has come to an end, Holly's lucrative contract with M&S is set to continue, with the retailer confirming the presenter will remain the face of their brand going forward. The mom of three has also experienced some support online, with some social media users reminding others to be careful about the comments they make regarding the star. A viral post featuring a snap of Holly smiling alongside late TV presenter Caroline Flack did the rounds on social media earlier last month, with the original poster reminding people to be kind with the comments they make on the internet.
Speaking about Qgate earlier at the time, a TV source told The Mirror, the abuse has been nothing short of disgusting, not least as they have done nothing wrong and were fully entitled to media accreditation so they could inform their viewers. They added, she, Holly, adores her job and would never quit. The whole experience has been totally brutal but one thing has remained constant, and that's been ITV's unwavering support. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at mirror.co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29